Memorial Day 2020. Well, I've almost reached another milestone with my YouTube. Currently at 2,999 in subscribers. Now, I started this back in 2011 and constantly, constantly putting up videos every day. Um, or should I say, every day as much as possible because of my um, internet provider. Um, it is so slow. Um, I'm lucky to get one video up a day. So, uh, with one video a day, it takes me um, about about two hours to edit a video. It only takes it only takes an hour to video um, a video. So between the 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 levels of getting one done, my average is usually ten minutes per video. Um, but yet my videos may have been three or four hours so they wind up going in episodes and I don't know if that's a been a good thing for you my viewers I don't know if I should just go ahead and let them just edit them completely out you know that that hour and then let it go with that even if it may be 45 minutes to to an hour long video um, my only problem there again has been the uploading uh, the longer the video, the longer it takes to upload. I've got I've got a crappy. Um, I live out here in the country, so I have you know I have crappy internet as far as uploading is concerned. Um, sometimes it's taking me three days just to get a ten minute video up. So you know that's where I'm at. Um, I've probably got three, four hundred videos on uh, on my portable modems so some of them some of the of course most a good percentage of the videos I'll never even be able to edit you know it's just just the way it is there's no way in my lifetime I'll ever be able to edit that um, as you see in my channel I've got over 2,000 uh, 2,000 videos up right now um, those videos, uh, of course, include the you know the episodes one through. I just finished one with the Mustang, uh, which a lot of you were not happy with me continuing over and over and over. That was 21 episodes, um, and that'll be the last time I ever do that. That's gonna be that'll be broken down into an hour at the most, you know. Even though it was it was about four or five different four or five days um, of troubleshooting on that so um, I'm definitely gonna cut back on should I say I'm gonna cut back on episodes I'm gonna increase the uh, time frame on them I'll just let them go 30 minutes um, even though it may take me a week to get the 30 minute video up but uh, um, right now uh, this is May and uh, views just on uh, views on my channel itself in uh, in a 20 uh, 28 day it was a 28 day cycle yeah considered a 28 day cycle um, I'm at 28 28 thousand views uh, one one point two K in watch hours um, I get an average of 52 subscribers, thank you, um, for following me, and my, my revenue per, vi my, my revenue per day, and after all this time, is about four, between 450 and 650 a day, so if you're just now coming and watching, uh, watching this episode, or this, uh, my vlog on this one, this is what you're looking at, you know. If you just start your video, uh, your video channel, and you're gonna, you've got to get 1,000 subscribers before you're gonna even start an income. Um, 
So you need to find something that's going to be long term um, idea or channel. Um, mine is based on my daily routine. Things that I do daily. Um, I'm a mecha uh, mechanic by trade. Um, or I was a mechanic by trade. I'm a mechanic by, by hobby now. Um, and you can see my playlist of everything that I put up. I don't have one specialty, which is probably hurting me, actually. Because when you put your videos up for the, the big picture and what people are looking for, um, my stuff is there, but I mean, um, I've got so many, many things that I do. Um, my current, my current solid top 10 playlist videos, um, and I can, I can give you the days that I put them up too, um, I have a de have a dead Chevy Malibu that I'm eventually going to be dragging to the uh, junkyard. Uh, was put up back in December 28th of 15. Um, that gets an average of 138 views in a 48 48 hour period. Well, it has as of right now. Uh, Poland chainsaw I put up in July of 17. Um, actually, April, <laughs> April 5 um, of 18, and uh, that gets 128. Unboxing a Best Way Fast Set Swimming Pool I put up in July of 18. That gets 108 views in a 48-hour period. Um, and then it just goes down from there. I did a, a washing machine repair. That was back in 15. And these are in line. I'm just going through the top ten. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, the Malibu cranking system. The um, an Envoy water pump that gets 64 every four hour uh, within a 48 hour period. Removal of a Windstar Ford Windstar radio. Um, and something really surprised kicked up. Um, and I put that up in September 13th, um, coming up for Halloween. I really never even thought about it. Is a 3D view of a spider, and that's 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 in that's in the top 10. I put that up in 17, and it's uh, called Beware of the Spider in 360. If you dare, because it's coming up on your it's coming up on your screen. And you're not going to see when it comes up. It's just going to show up. And it's huge. It's your entire screen. You're seeing its mouth. You're seeing the whole, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. So I put a thing in, beware. If you don't, if you're arachnophobia, you don't want to watch it. So it was, you know, just ideas. And that's exactly what you're going to do, is just get ideas. This is my, this is stuff that I do daily on repairs and stuff. Um, the, uh, I changed the cable clutch on my Mustang, uh, brake cable on the Mustang, those are in the top 10. Um, I have a Kohler, um, I've got a, uh, um, I was actually doing a, uh, <laughs> a gazebo, I did that, and it's in the top 15, um. And, uh, you know, it goes on, it goes on and on. You just go on your analytics and it'll tell you what people have been watching in the last 45, 45 hours uh, or 48 hours. I would have thought actually during this COVID, we're in this COVID, COVID virus situation, I would have thought everything would, as far as views would go up, but um, the month actually shot stuff down. Um, for uh, April, everything that is probably my low in uh, three or four years, and uh, I just uh, scraped across the the line. You have to you have to make at least a hundred dollars um, in revenue.
before you'll get paid. So, and you just, if you don't, if you don't make a hundred dollars in that month, it goes on to the next month and it'll add to that and then it'll pay you. So, um, each month you need to be making at least a hundred dollars a month, at least a hundred dollars a month before you're going to get paid. And it'll just carry over into the next month if you don't get paid. So I just, I just scraped over the, um, over the line. Um, um, this is May, and uh, I'm about uh, 20, I figured I'm about $20, $20 higher. It's the 25th. So, um, with that said, and that was, so $100. I broke a hundred dollars. I broke a hundred. Actually, I broke a hundred and ten. I broke a hundred and ten for last month. Uh, the twenty-fifth, which is today, uh, I broke a hundred dollars even. And the twenty-fifth of last month, I was at eighty-eight dollars. So as you can see, I'm. Um, um, if everything starts to, uh, I'm over the, I'm off the, over the pay. That's all, I, <laughs> all I care about. Hundred dollars extra a month, that helps. So, uh, um, the last, I can go to my analytics in the last, in the last hour. I've had four views on that Malibu. I've had six people watch that. Pole and chainsaw. I've had one person watch the swimming pool. Um, four for the cranking. One person for the wa uh, washing machine. Um, and the Windstar uh, radio removal. Two people. And that's been in the last, you know, uh, 60 minutes. Right now, you can watch the live view as of, as of every 60 seconds. Um, I've had two people on my on my channel. Can't see who they are. You can't you you can't be contact you can't be contacted if you're watching it. Um, you'll have your subscribers, um, and it'll give a list of your subscribers as long as they've allowed themselves to be visible on YouTube. They can uh, they can subscribe. And you still don't know who they are, so um, they have to uh, open themselves up so you can see who they are. And then, of course, then you can contact them and say hello and thank you and um, go to their channel because most of that's basically how you're doing it is because you're going. Uh, they have a channel themselves. Other advice, be careful of your copyright when you're doing your videos. If you've got any music, music in the background, it's copyright. And when you get done with your video and you upload it, it's automatically going to go after that song and find out who published it and everything like that. So a good, um, in one of my one of my examples was I used an Eagles song in the background and it blocked my video. I cannot publish it. So be aware of that. You want to use non-copyrighted music if you're going to use music in your videos. A good percentage of the videos, if you decide to use copyrighted music, it won't block it. Only certain, only certain musicians will block your videos. Um, other ones um, won't block it. Um, they'll put a copyright on it. You monetize it. You're not going to get the money for it. They are. So I've got several videos up of that, of that, um, of that sort. So you know, I'm hoping one day, you know, uh, the artist will get in touch with me and say, Hey, you know, Dana, you've got my music on your video. Would you do this for me? Or you know. So, you know, you never know. Um, uh, but that, again, that's totally, totally up to you. Um, but 
if you're doing games, my granddaughter did that. She did that for three solid years, and she forgot about four videos that were in the copy in her copyright file, and it was a violation, and she ignored it. They shut her cha they shut her channel down permanently. She had over 300 videos. She was five. I repeat, five subscribers from being able to be monetized. You've got to watch that. You're gonna get you're gonna get a message in your analytics saying you have a copyrighted um, an open copyrighted um, situation against you. Um, it's gonna come in like. Uh, Important notifications. Video received a copyright claim. Well, this is a video that I went to Bed Bath and Beyond, and in the background, in the background of the store, in the you know when you walk in the store, you've got all this music going on, and it's copyrighted. So I wound up in one of my videos three copyrighted claims. They weren't strikes. Now you have to watch that. That's that's what I'm saying. She wound up with three copyrighted strikes. That's what gets you shut down. You're going to see one, and then after that you need to pay attention. You can, you can correct it, and hopefully they'll re rescind the strike. But if they do not, it's against you. And you get three, they will shut you down. And you're done permanently. So... I'm still trying to figure out if she can actually get back up. She was a minor when this happened. So, um, being a minor, that may be a whole different law situation. Maybe she can bring it back up. But if you're over 18, um, be aware. And there may not be any difference between being a minor and a adult when it comes to this. But technically, as a minor, um, having a YouTube channel... And putting videos up, they're supposed to be um, an adult who has um, given permission for the minor to do this. Keep that in, client, uh, in, in mind. Um, a little more on this. Um, this is for the copyright claim. You click on that, it's going to copyright summary and status. Um, no effect, content ID on your ID doesn't affect your channel. Um, and this is not a copyright strike, so that's the key. If it's got a strike, you need to work on it. Um, and the video is visible to everybody, and monetization is on. But, again, the money is being split by those two copyright claims. You're not making any money on it. So, unfortunately, if you get a video, right now I don't have anything going viral. I'm making really any money off of them. So I'm not really concerned about it. Um, you can go in, when you get that message, um, you can, there are options, you can mute out the music, you can go back in um, and change, you can go back in and change um, the music on your video. That's, that's the other way to go with it. But you don't want to strike if you shut down forever. Shut three strikes, you're shut down forever. And uh, if you're making any money on it, well, <laughs> guess what? You just lost it. Um, but uh, I guess that's mainly all I can uh, say on that. Just be careful. Uh, I guess that's basically it. This is, uh, again, um, my anniversary coming up on or my milestone of coming up on 3,000 subscribers um, when you reach 5,000 I think you get a, a YouTube plaque saying 5,000 or maybe 10,000 I can't remember if they changed it or not but um, there you go um, thing is being longevity find uh, find some sort of a content that you know you can pass on to other people um, 
maybe you play music. Um, you know, it, it's hard to say. This has been my um, this has been my content. Everything that I everything that I do, um, I could always jump out of my content um, and uh, try something completely different. I'm going to be getting my drones back up again, so I'll be doing aerial 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 photography. Um, it's just been having time to do that. Um, I lost my I lost my main drone in a uh, river in New England, and it took me a month or two to find another one on YouTube or uh, <laughs> eBay. So that'll be going up. I use Ma uh, the Mavic Pro. Um, and I also have a uh, Phantom Pro uh, that I crashed about five years ago and broke the camera off of that. And I just got a new, just got a new camera for it. So I'm gonna do some videos, of probably up to updating the firmware on both of them. I'll have to do the uh, installation of the new camera on the Phantom. It's coming up on two years, and my drone license is coming up for renewal. Uh, yes, if you want to make any money or put drone videos up on your YouTube channel that is monetized, you have to have a drone license. It is $150 every two years. You've got to go take a test through the FAA. And if you fail the test, you lose your $150. So you better be serious when you take the test. <sighs> and if you're going to work for anybody with that drone, you've got to have drone insurance. You've got to have liability insurance. So, yes, it is a business if you go ahead and put your drone videos up on YouTube to be monetized. But, quote, quote, you can write the drone off and everything you do, the mileage when you go do drone videos, Everything to do with that drone is a business. So, there you go. There is the benefit of that. Yes, the drone license is a write-off because it is a part of the business. You have to have that license to be in business. Um, even though you're not working for anybody but yourself or making money from anybody else other than putting them up on YouTube, but you are getting you are getting compensation for those videos on your channel. So it is a video. It is a business. What else can I say real quick at this point? Other than that drone, my drone videos. Um, that's about all I can think of right now. Um, I'm working on building a uh, uh, vehicle lift garage so I can put my vehicle lift in there. So. I can start flipping cars. So that's another hobby bat dash business I'm getting into. And um, now that I I will be turning it's it's it is May twenty fifth. Um, June and twenty fifth I will turn sixty. So um, I am looking forward to that. I am looking forward to sixty two because I will be retiring and collecting my social security that we've been so afraid of losing all these years. Anybody after me retiring, who knows? Um, so well, why don't you wait till 65? Well, I'm not working for anybody after 62. Sorry. <laughs> I, did a, I did almost a full military career and I've worked for, after that, I've worked for several companies after that. And I'm currently with this one here, coming on, uh, it'll be 15, 15 years on the, actually, 27th of May. And uh, almost, almost as long as I was in the military. Um, two other jobs... I was with for two years, and then one after the, one other civilian job after that. I was there for five years, 
another one after that, and those were, that was in the security field, um, and then one, two, year, uh, two years after that, and then I got in with the company I'm at right now. Um, I still do part-time security, um, concert security, so that brings in, <laughs> that brings in about $300 a year. <laughs> I just have the uh I just have the fun of being able to go and see the uh the artists. That's uh you know, kinda of the nice thing about it, but um your mind is supposed to be on the audience and making sure you have somewhat of somewhat of order <laughs> and trying not to get hurt. You don't you don't make anything in as a security guard, believe me. Uh you don't make that much you don't make that much as law enforcement either. Can uh, you know adding up the risks and everything that you take daily so uh, there you go alright so uh, uh, right now I'm uh, uh, in, the, in my human drama side of the house I'm uh, dealing with a uh, kidney infect uh, liver uh, yeah kidney a kidney infection and a large prostate issue so I'm currently wearing a cloth claw uh, Plastic bag right now, so not not a good not a good deal, but uh, definitely no pain compared to uh, two days ago. So take a look at that video <laughs> and the human but and the human drama. So all right, I'm gonna let y'all go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment. No telling what's coming up. Um, definitely subscribe and share. And we'll catch you on the next. Dana Crosby's vlogs, and again, thanks for being one of my subscribers. Day 2020. Take a moment of silence and think about those who had the ultimate sacrifice to giving us the freedom that we have. Um, yes, I serve my time. Don't forget what this day is about. And, uh, have a safe, have a safe day.